I really like it when a student wears pants to show the seam of the pant line uh, because that you can really visualize turning that seam towards the golf ball on your downswing. Uh, she's got her plane set up. She's got a great posture in her back. Let's watch what goes on. There she's lifting a little bit. We'll just go ahead and put another line in right from her hip joint. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Put another line in from her hip joint right there. Right there up to her ear. You'll see a lifting going on right there. Not much. When you consider the golf ball's a little over an inch big and we're raising up two or three inches, it's going to make it hard to go find that golf ball. Now she's going to come back down on the plane. She gets back to her point pretty good. She's swinging the club. Instead of on the plane or below the plane, she's above the plane on the way down. So the club is well outside the hands. It's going to cut across it, which then creates a ball flight that looks a little like that. And that's the ball flight we all hate to have, the, the little push fade. And uh, so and that's caused because the club is cutting across it from right to left. She's finishing nice, but you can see the ball off to the right, very high and further off to the right. Uh, she's got a good solid swing. We just need to route that club more down that red line that was created by the club shaft at start.